guys, on my solar central I found a strange fee. Uh, what? <laughs> Called adjustment compensated clawback. But looks like the claw is mine. So let me tell you what exactly do I mean by saying the claw, the clawback. What is the clawback? If you go to Seller Central, in transaction view, you may sometimes see an item which will not have an order ID or product details. All it will have is a number, which is a negative, like in this case, minus 1295. If you click on that, you will find out that the item is actually called inventory reimbursement. But you know, usually reimbursements are when they give you money. But in this case, they took money from you. So why? What did it happen? To find out more about it, you would usually go to reports, fulfillment, and then reimbursements report. In there, you see the same item here. Now they're calling it reversed reimbursement. And there is at the last column, you will see a little bit of more information why it happened. In my case, it was lost warehouse. You could see something like uh, warehouse damage or customer return in here or any other reason why the reversal happened. Now, uh, what the developers of the apps usually see, like apps which you use, like AMZ Ping, for example, or any other app that you give access to, uh, that would read your data, calculate profit, and show things like that. What they see, instead of reversal or reimbursement, they see it called compensated clawback by Amazon, which is in fact a more uh, precise name for the same thing. So now, what is that clawback, right? And here, AMZ Ping would exactly see, they're showing you exactly what they see in the back end. They don't see that it's reversal or reimbursement, they see it as a clawback, and that's why they are saying compensated clawback here. Okay, Amazon warehouse is huge, right? So they have a lot of items and probably they had one of your boxes that they lost. What they did is they will go and record in their computer. They will say we lost one, so you have one less items and we will reimburse the seller for $12.95. You are very happy, you get your $12.95. In that case, the transaction will be called inventory reimbursement. Now, if they later go and find the same box, so they were somehow magically found it again, then they will record in their computer the warehouse plus one, and in there they will say seller claw back. So let's go and claw back from the seller of the 1295 that we gave him before. So this is exactly what the claw back is. They gave you and then they claw it back away from you. There are two kinds of clawbacks uh, that you may see in the apps. Uh, so one is called compensated clawback and the other is missing from inbound clawback. Compensated is the one I just mentioned, so it can include loss by warehouse, damages, customer returns, all kinds of different cases that they thought that you need a reimbursement and later they claw it back from you. Missing from inbound, similar story. So look, the UPS driver comes and he's bringing 300 of your units to the warehouse came to the warehouse and it was only 200. So Amazon thinks, okay, so it was UPS's fault, they lost 100, we are going to reimburse the seller, 750. And later, they magically found another 100 units and then they claw back the 750 from you. And again, the claw hurts, right? There you go, that's the claw back. If you want to know more information about your fees, about things you may not even know that are happening within your Seller Central, you should subscribe to my channel. And if you subscribe, you will be notified by email when I publish new videos and you may find them really useful in helping you understand and know your numbers. Take care, guys.